The bears further tightened its grip on the Nigerian capital market on Thursday following the crash in equity capitalization at the close of day's business. The development cost the investors 12 billion naira, with the equity capitalization dropping to 25 trillion naira after eight hours of trading. Similarly, the all share index was down by 0.48 percent to close at 46,543 basis points. Leading the stocks that led the market on a downward course, we have banking and finance stocks. Veritas Cap leading 17 others as it recorded a two core loss. It was closely followed by conglomerate USC and PLC, who recorded an 85 core loss. On the flip side, as our gainers list for today, Corn Oil and RT Briscoe led the gainers counter, recording a two Naira 25 core gains. But despite the negative sentiments in the market, the total turnover got a boost when compared to yesterday's transaction, a sign of increased sell off by market players, which is why we can. 244 million units of shares valued at 2.3 billion naira, exchanging as in 4,710 deals. Now, should we hope for a glimmer of hope in the market or not? We'll find out tomorrow, which is the close of the week's trading. Moving on to the foreign scene, the FTSE, the Dow Jones, and the Nikkei, they are all in the negative territory. The FTSE turned lower today after the Federal Reserve minutes pointed to a half-point increase in interest rates in May, as well as reduction in the central bank's balance sheet. The Dow Jones also dropped, extending losses following two straight days of sharp stock market sell-offs. But investors are looking out for the early release of weekly jobless claims data before they make any major moves. Meanwhile, Japan stocks also sank to a three-week low today as investors fretted over prospects of faster U.S. monetary tightening, the war in Ukraine, and COVID-19 lockdowns in China.